G'day everyone, my name's Lisa Tamati and um, I'm up here on Mount Taranaki doing a bit of a training run, a uh, hill training run session today. So I just wanted to take you through perhaps uh, a little bit of the reasons why hill training is so important for running. Um, there are different types of hill training. There are uh, long, slow hill training sessions. Um, that's just what we've been doing. We've just run up uh, seven k's uphill. Now, the reason that they are good is that um, they give you endurance, they give you strength, and they help you control your breathing. Um, they build strength in your legs, that type of thing. Um, your cardiovascular system gets stronger, and uh, you're teaching yourself to, to be under sort of a, a high intensity or medium intensity, at least, uh, training session for quite a long time. Um, there are other types of hill training sessions though, there are the short hill repeats, now these are more sort of sprint based exercises, you're typically running only 8 to 10 seconds up a, a medium grade hill, full speed, recovering, running back down, letting the heart rate come right back down and then repeating the procedure, you're doing that maybe 6 to 8 times depending on, on how fit you are and what you're trying to achieve. Now the short hill repeats like that are basically uh, you're engaging your fast twitch fibres, muscle fibres. Now we all have different types of muscle fibres. We have slow twitch fibres, we have neutral ones and then we have fast twitch fibres. Now when I'm training on a long slow hill, I'm training mostly my slow twitch fibres. These are ones that work aerobically and these are the ones that you use for endurance. Now typically these can last a long time, they can go and go and go and go without wearing out. Um, and that's what you use mainly say in ultra marathons or mountain races, that type of thing. However, by using, doing these short hill repeats, doing sprints, you're teaching yourself some other things. You're using your fast twitch fibres, you're teaching yourself fast leg turnover. When you're doing these sprints, you should be concentrating on your form, engaging your core, making sure your glutes are firing, upright posture, all that type of thing. Um, and you'll be out of breath at the end of it. Um, you come back down, you recover, and you go again. Now there's another type of hill training, and it's one in the middle of those two. So you've got your long, slow hills, and you've got your short hill repeats. And these ones are sort of a middle of the road hill training session, and these are hill repeats. But they go for typically 30 to 90 seconds, depending on your fitness level. And basically, these ones are run at maybe 80%, 75 to 80%, and you're going hard out, pretty hard out, but not sprinting. And you're going for 30 seconds or up to 90 seconds. Now, these, these ones use a mixture of the fast twitch fibers and your slow twitch fibers, and they teach you a little bit of speed and they increase your lung capacity and that type of thing. So that's basically your three types of hill training sessions. They all have different reasons, and it's pretty important if you're a, an experienced runner or you've been running for a while to start incorporating hills into your training sessions. Um, they bring a lot of benefit, they bring you speed, they bring you cardiovascular fitness, um, they, they yeah, make your muscles stronger and everything else, your posture and everything you can control. Um, yeah, so that's, that's hill training sessions. We've just done a big one, we're about to head up that mountain, do a bit more. It's the long slow day today, so we're really enjoying it. One other uh, point that I'd like to bring up, um, I'm an asthmatic. Now, many of you out there might have asthma and maybe you know have trouble doing hill training sessions. I'm not very good in the hills because I have a, a rather small lung capacity and when I do hill training, um, I do struggle with my breathing. If you're one of those sufferers, you know, just be patient with yourself. Perhaps leave out the sprints, just go for the long slow hills, keep everything a little bit in balance, make sure you've got your uh, Ventolin inhaler with you to um, stop any attacks and if you get really out of breath and out of sorts then you know please by all means stop. You should be, um, in any of these hill training sessions, you should never be going 100%, you know, um, you do that very rarely. Um, the maximum that you should be getting up to is 90% and that's only very, very briefly.
and these hill training sessions I recommend one to two a week maximum um, maybe doing that for a three week period and then having a week off hills um, just changing it up as with all your training changing things up shocking the body keeping it fresh is a really important thing I'll see you again on my next video thank you